In this video, I want to talk about the dimensional jolt uh, animation in Kinetic Text Animator. So you'll want to select a font as usual. It's only one font and you can select the screen area wherever you want it to appear. I've got it currently centered over just the entire screen. You have the ability to set the font color and then it's shadow. And what I like to do usually is, you know, so I, I do related colors. I tend to, I've got it over white here. I'm not going to show it over a background. This is one of the uh, animations that I, th I feel that it looks a little bit better when it's over a solid color background. Um, it's really just doing, it's just to take a quick look at this simple sample here. And it's just animating in this kind of 3d ish kind of uh, situation going on there. So, um, and, it's with the the without the contrast of anything kind of going on in the background it's just i mean with with without their you know, distraction that is you know it just looks a little bit better in my opinion uh if it's just kind of over a solid color and what i like to do generally is if it's a, if it's of a different color which you can change your colors over here uh, if i wanted to make the background different colors here um, i can do that and uh, then i just like to do something complementary to it with this so your color is going to be bigger. Notice that the way this works, um, I mean, your your font, you want it to be, you know, you know size it here appropriately. I've, I could make this bigger. Um, notice that what I've got going on here is I've got this, this first part phrase, when nothing goes right. So I've got an, a carriage space or a return here, and then I've added a double space there for that to kind of go to another line or another kind of get rid of this. So it wipes everything out and then just uh, starts out with a new phrase there. So. If I re re rewind that, you're going to see that this first part where I've got the enter space is just making it so that this one comes in first and then this one, uh, the next line comes in. And then because of the, the um, double space, it, it clears out and then I've got the, that second part in. So that's how that works. And uh, of course, as usual, you can expand these. Uh, you can you know add more time or take away time. And uh, if you don't like this, if you wanted to make some adjustments, say to the color of the fonts, you can go in there and uh, do something like this and then just reapply it. And then you'll just have different colors. So uh, that's pretty much the d dimensional joke, pretty simple. I like to use it in contrast with those that I might use with photography. So since I like this with solid colors, if I have something before or after it that's going to be photographic, I like to go ahead and just have this um, as the solid color. So um, that's that's pretty much it for the dimensional jolt animation.